Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Who would be affected if birthright citizenship is denied to children of non-citizens? If birthright citizenship were denied to children of non-citizens, several groups would be significantly impacted. Children of undocumented immigrants. Children born in the United States to undocumented immigrants would no longer automatically receive U.S. citizenship. According to estimates, about 6% of all births in the U.S. are to unauthorized immigrants, which translates to around 250,000 births per year. Children of legal but non-naturalized immigrants. This group includes children born to parents who are in the U.S. legally but have not yet naturalized. Proposals to restrict birthright citizenship often argue that these children should not be entitled to citizenship because their parents are not yet full U.S. citizens. Children born abroad to U.S. citizens. While the primary focus is on children born within the U.S., changes in birthright citizenship laws could also have implications for children born abroad. For instance, children born outside the U.S. to married parents where both parents are U.S. citizens would still be citizens if one parent had residency in the U.S. prior to the child's birth. However, the specifics of these rules could be scrutinized under new interpretations. Tourism. Pregnant women who travel to the U.S. on temporary visas to give birth, a practice known as null birth tourism, null would no longer be able to secure U.S. citizenship for their children. This practice has been a point of contention, with some arguing it exploits loopholes in the immigration system. Specific legal requirements. For children born overseas to unmarried U.S. citizen parents, the current law requires the U.S. citizen parent to meet specific physical presence requirements in the U.S., such as being physically present for at least five years, with at least two of those years after the age of 14. Changes in birthright citizenship laws could complicate these already intricate rules. Historical and constitutional context. The 14th Amendment, which grants birthright citizenship, has been interpreted by the Supreme Court in cases like United States v. Wong Kim Ark. This case established that children born in the U.S. to foreign parents are generally entitled to citizenship, but new interpretations or legislation could challenge this precedent. Economic and social implications. Denying birthright citizenship would have significant economic and social implications. For example, it would affect access to health care, welfare benefits, and voting rights for these children. It could also lead to complex legal and administrative issues, particularly for children who grow up in the U.S. and later face the possibility of deportation. International comparisons. Unlike many countries in Western Europe, the U.S. currently offers birthright citizenship without exceptions to all children born within its borders, except for children of diplomats and certain other groups. Changes in U.S. law could align it more closely with countries like Germany and the U.K., which do not offer birthright citizenship based solely on birth location. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.